Randy Moss wasn't the first player to make one-hand catches, but he was the best at it. Not only was he the best at it, but he also made it popular, and he made the one-hand catch what it is today. I'm going to show you a few plays from his prime. Prime Randy Moss versus prime Darrell Revis. I want y'all to pay attention to Moss's release on the play. Though. Not only does he kill him off the line, but he puts his hand up at the 27, and it's only a 34-yard pass play. Tracking the ball, tracking the ball, one hand over the shoulder. Made it look easier than it really was. He runs a post route, one hand catch in front of the safety, and he sees the safety coming down. When you see Moss extend like that, you know you're going to be on this highlight tape. If you seen Moss on the goal line, it was a 99.9% .9 chance he was going to run a fade. But it was also a 99.9% .9 chance that you couldn't stop it. Ask Nate Clemens, as you see here, he's trying to hold the left arm. It don't matter. The thing that made Moss so great was he did it against everybody. This is a Hall of Fame corner he's doing this to, and you can see Rondé Bob is lost. He has no idea how to get to the ball. He mossed the corner so bad right here, he started asking the refs for help. Watch when he get mossed. Watch he look to the ref. Ref, what am I supposed to do against this guy? It really didn't matter where Moss lined up because you knew wherever he was on the field, that is a chance that he could make a one-hand catch like he just did on Vontae Davis right here. Beautiful. And the thing was, Moss could do it with both hands too. So even when you hold his right arm, he still make it with his left. Watch the corner right here. Still get on the poster.